Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Rando Geek. So if you're currently a DirecTV customer, this is an, an important notice for you. Uh, you should be aware that the price of your current subscription is going to go up. This of course is starting next month, October 2024. Looks like email notices have been going out or notifications have been going out to customers either by email or maybe even text messages to current customers letting them know that on October 6, 2024, you will begin to see a new price hike in the next billing cycle. In the notifications that are being sent to customers, DirecTV says that they're adjusting the price of your television package in order to remain competitive in the marketplace. So they're blaming it on competitive pricing as compared to the competition. All right, they're saying that while still delivering the best possible programming, TV networks are continuing to increase the fees they charge DirecTV for the right to distribute the content that they produce, including movies, shows, and sporting events. We remain steadfast in our commitment to bring you the best programming at a fair price, fair and reasonable price. So as of October 6th, the price of DirecTV stream choice is going up by $6 to $114.99. And DirecTV Stream Ultimate is increasing $10 to $129.99 per month. They're saying DirecTV satellite packages are also getting price hikes as of uh, between $2 and $10 monthly, depending on the tier, also effective starting October 6th. They're saying in addition, regional sport fees for some satellite customers will be increasing by up to $2 monthly, depending on your zip code, but some subscribers may not see a charge. They're saying DirecTV's price changes have likely been in the works for some time. They're saying, but the disclosure to customers is particularly bad timing, of course. This is because, you know, a lot of notif notifications have gone out to customers about how uh, Disney programming will be leaving DirecTV, meaning that ESPN, ABC, the Disney Channel, Nat Geo, Freeform, and any of those other Disney networks are getting pulled from the lineup. This is because Disney has been particularly a pain in the ass, if uh, I can be blunt enough, when it comes to working with cable providers. They've been being douches for quite some time. They've failed to really offer an extended hand to companies, cable companies that are struggling right now. Spectrum, there's been an ongoing war between Spectrum and, and Disney and DirecTV as well. The thing is, Disney is kind of has their foot up their own ass and it's because they, they, you know, they've been around for a long time and I get it and much respect will go to them. They've made great movies that, you know, many of us have grown up with as children. So there's no, you know, no denying that, but what they don't realize is that even Disney is not making as much money as it used to. Not as many customers are going to theaters and watching Disney films. They're not even paying for their Disney Plus subscription. There's a lot of customers that, you know, try it out for a month or two and then they're cutting the axe on that and they're not paying for that either. So they're losing subs on that as well. Although they've had a recent profitable quarter, when you look at the big picture, they're not making as much as they hope. So they're not negative. So I don't know. The, the thing here is they need to be a little bit more willing to compromise with these cable providers because after all, these cable providers are the ones that are showing the programming. So it kind of works hand in hand. If they push all the deals away, if they if they get too arrogant and don't want to assist these cable providers with some kind of reasonable agreement, all they'll have less left is their Disney Plus, or they'll have to start their own cable company in order to push out their own content. So this is what's going on here. Now, yes, this is particularly terrible time for DirecTV to ask for more money and a reasonably good amount more too. Many customers, $6 more a month is a lot of money. $10 a month is even way more money, enough that many people may exit. They may be fed up and cut the cord. Maybe they'll go to another streaming service or maybe they just won't pay for anything. Maybe they'll just watch YouTube. Maybe they'll pay $13.99 a month for YouTube Premium and just watch whatever free movies you can get from YouTube, and also just watch regular content like everybody's been pretty much doing now anyway. Or they'll find other free sources to get their, you know, get their movies, get their shows, whatever it is that they watch. 
because there's a lot of free ways to get content now in 2024. So, yeah, they're saying that DirecTV has offered a one-time credit to to uh, to customers to account for the missing Disney network. So that's a plus. $20 uh, will be your credit now. I don't know if they're going to go ahead and just issue that automatically. They're saying that uh, subscribers who previously claimed a $20 credit will be eligible for an additional $10 credit if they opt in for Sling and or Fubo offer. So they're encouraging you to uh, basically move over to Fubo or Sling and they'll give you a $30 credit in total. $20 will be for the, you know, losing the Disney and another $10 for signing up for Sling or, or Fubo. So keep that in mind as well if you're interested in doing that. So that's our update here. A lot going on. It's dark times for for big cable. Uh, I've been saying this. Unfortunately, it's just becoming too much of a headache for them, especially when you have companies like Disney trying to put a, a stranglehold over them and trying to pimp them out for as much money as possible, knowing that it's not really a good time for cable companies to to spend that kind of money. So I don't know how this is going to be. This is probably going to result in a lot of people leaving because this is a big jump. $6, $10, some cases, you know, maybe even more for some customers if, if they have, you know, if they're satellite customers, they'll be getting another $2 monthly charge, perhaps, all these little things add up, plus taxes. So you'll be maybe be paying about fifteen dollars more a month for the same programming, and you'll be losing Disney. And if you care a lot about that, that could send you on your way. Let me know how you guys feel about this down below if you want. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.